going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario 3D World. In the last part, we uh, started off on World 3 and made some good progress and now uh, we're going to do 3-4, Pretty Paws Panic, and this is why I recommended uh, pretty much keeping Peach up to this point. Because this is a time challenge. You need Peach to get the stamp in this level, so um, I'm trying to remember. Um, okay, there's no... Uh, I'm thinking of a different level that has... Um, I'm thinking of an entirely different level that's the stamp to start, the stamp to start, or maybe the stamp was at the start. I don't know. Was the stamp at the start? Yeah, the stamp was at the start. So we have to go back a little bit, retrace our step. You know, the most important meal of the day, serving it up Gary's way. <laughs> Every time I'm retracing my step, I always think of that gag in that one on sort of SpongeBob, like um, when he loses his name tag, so he has to go like he has to start doing his daily routine over and over again, like falling down the stairs and saying the most important meal of the day, serving it up Gary's way, and also tasting the snail food. Anyways, so this is what we need Peach for. Get the stamp. There's gonna be another time challenge days later on that's gonna we're gonna need Toad for. We're almost out of time, so that is a problem. I, I initially forgot that, that star. And can we get... Can we, can we beat the timer? Alright, there's time clocks. We need those. Here we go. We're done with that stage. Pull up the stamps in Mario Wonder because um it's essentially gotcha oriented because like uh gotcha is basically like you you pet you put in stuff and you put in game currency and like um gives you a random thing. I'm I'm never a fan of gotcha oriented games because um it's essentially luck if you get certain characters and certain rarities. Plus um there do exist a lot of mobile games where like they're gotcha games. They basically like they're money suckers. So basically, if you want to get the good characters, you have to pay like a thousand dollars. I never understood that. And I'm someone that doesn't think microtransactions are like the worst thing in the world because they're also used to be arcades. So like it's not really too much different. It's just when you load the game with microtransactions, I'm really not a fan of. Okay, so we're gonna try our hands at the slot. Now let's get the 777 coins. All right, the the cat and uh, all right, so it's after the cherry. Too early. We keep getting 300 every time. Anyway, so now we're going to do the 3-5 Pipeline Lagoon. Now, there are only three more stages left in World 3, so um, we're going to keep Peach for a little bit longer. We're just going to pe keep Peach for just a little bit longer because, uh, let's just say, one of the next stages, she's going to be the best choice in... Anyway, so, um, is there something down, is there, I don't think there's something down there aside from, uh, what am I trying to say, uh, a, a block roulette. I don't have to call block roulettes, I just always call them that. And much like any Water Sage or Mario game, like, the fire bar, the fire are going to be the best choice. Alright, this is where we want to go. No, it's not. My memory is wrong. And I just played through this, like, a month ago. Okay, this is where we want to go. Yeah, that's where we want to go. Make sure you get that uh, star that's right there. And that's some very nice visuals. Like, 
for a console that wasn't really as powerful as the PS4 or the Xbox One, this is very good visuals. And like, um, it was basically new grounds for a Nintendo console because the Wii pretty much didn't do 720p or 1080p. We're gonna keep the we're gonna keep the Katner and drawing. You'll see why in a bit. We want to go up here. This is what I was thinking of earlier. We want to get the Stanthus down here. We're not gonna get that in our inventory, thankfully, because I guess it, I guess in Super Mario World you can get replaced with a mushroom if you have a cape in your inventory. But like, uh, let's just say that's. The game designers thought again thought ahead of those outdated game mechanics. I not to against Super Mario World. I definitely do a playthrough of it. I go 100% at least once a year, and I live streamed it when I hit 100 subscribers. Like, it's Super Mario World is definitely a game I'm gonna get to at some point. And make sure you go up here so we can get the um, last star. And also this uh, leads us to the top of the flagpole. So yeah, pretty much take this exit. If you take the other exit, you'll just be at the bottom. So, um... Top the flagpole, yes! We get a one up too. Alrighty, so, um, we're gonna do probably one of my favorite stages in the whole game. I also recommend using Peach for this level. World 3-6, Mount Mush Jazz. Let's see if we get the throwback. We're also, this is why I saved the cat suit for. Yeah, this is the music from Super Mario Kart, or other Mario Kart games that this music appeared in. You want to go down here. We get the uh, we get the nice little uh, bonus, and we're we were climbing up just there. But um, now if you can actually um combo them, you can get a one up right there. Now we want to um, basically get this rabbit, and we got him. I would say the third stamp's the hardest to get, and it's why I recommend using Peach. It's also why I recommend a cat suit because you're gonna get. Maybe we can start with some momentum. We can start with some momentum, maybe. Um, But yeah, that one's definitely the hardest to get. You either need a cat suit or peach. I just recommend both peach and the cat suit. I'm gonna go one up from coins. Yes! We touch the flagpole, which means we don't have to come back to this level. Because I swear to god, my first practice playthrough, I failed to get the third star. star. And I had to redo this level, and my second prank playthrough, I failed to top the flagpole, so I had to redo this level. Okay, so make sure to go here also. You don't have to, you don't, this isn't like a requirement, it just gets your one up. 
Now we need to, we're just gonna check our progress, so like, um, yeah. There is, uh, three more stages left in this, um... And if we check our World 2 progress, we're pretty much complete with that, and our, as well as our World 1. So that's basically the way you check your progress, make sure you've got everything. Now we're gonna actually change up characters right here. I think I'm gonna go back to Luigi. Because he jumps the highest. I'd say um, Luigi, even though I'm not a fan of him as much, I'm not really, I've never been a big Luigi fan, I'd say he's my favorite character to use in this game because he jumps the highest, which can really come in handy in some levels. It's pretty much the same thing if you're playing like Mario 2, he, so there's a lot of levels in that game, he can be the best choice and... Really just use whoever you're the most comfortable with, or switch it up for shits and giggles. That's also pretty much how you play Mario 2. Now, if you, we actually get rid of him right there. We're not gonna get a 1-up, unfortunately. Now, make sure to go down here. And kind of follow the coins. Follow the coins. Follow the coins. And this is going to lead to a stamp. And there's the, uh, there's the midway point. Some stages are not going to have midway points. Uh, mainly like airship levels. There's mainly like uh, tank levels. Those aren't going to have midway points. And there's one, there's going to be one stage towards the end that doesn't have a midway point. Yeah, we're gonna, we can do fine with the Fire Flower in our inventory. And we immediately lose it. Now we kinda wanna, this, this one's kinda tricky to get, you kinda, um, you kinda go and duck. And that's how you get that star, that star right there. Make sure to hit that block, otherwise you'll just fall to your death. Make sure to hit this block. Make sure to kind of jump over this guy, too. Now, um, this one is right here is going to be kind of tricky to get. Let's just get out a Fire Flower. Yeah, you want to get that one right there, and there's also the stamp that's coming up, so, um... Yeah, that's yeah. I knew the stamp was down there, so I just had to double check. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We just need to get a nice running start. And there we go. And there is none other than, if we go, um, we have two more stages left in, and we, there's a mushroom house right there, so I guess we can go for the mushroom house. And we get the good stuff, we get the, uh, we're gonna take the Kanuki suit, and we're gonna take the cat suit. Anyway, so now we're gonna go to three, um, the Bullet Bill Express. This is another one of those, uh, ex this is the first of the Express levels. I swear to God, Super Mario 3D World has such a great and underrated soundtrack. This is another one of those great songs in the game. 
There's the first screen star. Make sure this is an honest scrolling level, so if you're if the screen scrolls too much, you also die that way. We'll get the tunky suit. Alright, good. Anyway, so um Mom. I hate auto scrollers so much. Now make sure also to kill those bullet bills first off, but um Because you can whack them with your tail, but um make sure also to get those uh not get hit. But that's how you get the third stamp. Kill these fire brothers. We're just gonna get out of Chinooki suit. Because the stamp's down there. That's great. There's another one of those stages that doesn't have a midway point. <laughs> the one. The, she's gonna declone. Boom Bo Man is basically gonna declone herself, and the one that has the pink. Um, the one that has the pink. Um, kind of ninja th star is uh, the correct one. Now we're gonna make sure we top the flag. Well, there's all there's gonna be one more stage in World 3 after this. And we touched the flagpole, yes! Oh. Ooh, the third Sprixy saves. Now there's just one more stage in our uh, world three. World three B a banker with histocrat. This is going to be the first one of these type of boss stages. There's, there's going to be a cat suit right there. I'll always take the cat suit. Now basically his thing is that uh, he's gonna have these uh, little things on plates. You, you stand on the plates, you basically attack his weak spot, which is his head. Yeah, you also avoid the dollars and boulders. He reminds me of a less... He reminds me of boulder guys from Mario Galaxy. And he'll also, uh... Try to get rid of one of those things. One of those things. Just be a little careful, and uh, yeah, one more hit, and you should be dead. They're also gonna have some cat suits to you in case you lose your cat suit. There's also gonna be some of those that don't exactly uh, 
have placed it as our biters. And he's dead. That is a one-up. That is a great one-up. Now make sure you also get the uh, green star, because I don't know why you wouldn't. There, were, there can't even be those videos about the minimum green stars required to be Super Mario 3D World, because, like, stages require a certain amount of uh, green stars. Top the flagpole. Alrighty, so that is going to be the um, last point of this part of Super Mario 3D World. So, um, next time on Super Mario 3D World. The Strixie in World 4. We will see what's going on in World 4. So, I will see you guys next time.